Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill and this is Night Prayer for Tuesday, July the 12th, 2011. It's year one, proper 10, and week two of the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 36, Acts chapter 12, verse 1 to 17, and the Song of Simeon, Luke 2, verse 29 to 32. Our help is in the name of the God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, sin whispers to sinners. Alleluia, Psalm 36. Sin whispers to sinners in the depths of their heart. There is no fear of God before their eyes. They so flatter themselves in their minds that they do not know their guilt. In their mouths are mischief and deceit, and all wisdom is gone. They plot the defeat of goodness as they lie in their bed. They have set their feet on evil ways, and they cling to what is evil. Your love, Yahweh, reaches to heaven, and your truth to the skies. Your justice is like your mountain, and your judgments are like the deep. To mortals and beasts you give protection. O oh, Yahweh, how precious is your love. My God, the children of the earth find refuge in the shelter of your ways. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evildoers fall, flung down, they shall never rise. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sin whispers to sinners. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. About that time, King Herod laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He had James, the brother of John, killed with a sword. After he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the festival of unleavened bread. And when he had seized him, he put him in prison and handed him over to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending to bring him out to the people after Passover. And while Peter was kept in prison, the church prayed fervently to God for him. The very night before Herod was to bring him out, Peter, bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. And suddenly an angel appeared, and light shone on the cell. And he tapped Peter on the side and woke him, saying, Get up quickly. And the chains fell from his wrists. And the angel said to him, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals. He did so. And then he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him. He did not realize that he was, what was happening with the angel's help was real. He thought he was just seeing a vision. And after they passed the first and the second guard, they came before the iron gate leading into the city, and it opened for them of its own accord, and they went outside and walked along a lane, and suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hands of Herod, 
and from all that the Jews were expecting. As soon as he realized this, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose other name was Mark, where many had gathered and were praying. And when he knocked at the outer gate, a maid named Rhoda came to answer. On recognizing Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed that instead of opening the gate, she ran in and announced that Peter was standing at the gate. They said to her, Are you out of your mind? But she insisted that it was so. They said, It is his angel. And meanwhile, Peter continued knocking, and when they opened the gate, they saw him and were amazed. He motioned to them with his hand to be silent and described for them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison, and added, Tell this to James and to the believers. And then he left and went to another place. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now, O tender God, let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the face of the nations, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> Alleluia. We trust in the mercy of God forever. Amen. Alleluia. And the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.